Here we have two 10 frames. When you have 10 frames, you can find out the value of a number by looking at the 10 frames. Right now, there are some dots on here. We're trying to figure out how many 10s and how many 1s. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Since we didn't go past 10, there are only 7 1s. But if more dots were added, well now let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this makes a 10. Okay. When you have a 10, when you have 10 dots, that now becomes 110. What's left over in the other 10 frame are the 1s. Okay. So now let's add some more. And keep. And we're going to keep practice. So now we have some dots, so we've added more dots. So let's count how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So remember, when there is a 10 frame full of dots, it becomes a 10. So there are, there's one 10 in this number. And then let's see how many dots are left over in the 10 frame, in the next 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4. Which means there is one 10 for our full 10 frame. And then our dots in the, in the other 10 frame, that's 4. So 1 10 and 4 1, 4 1's makes 14. Okay, let's do one more example. So now we have more dots, and let's count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16. So there's 16 dots, and we want to figure out how many 10s and how many 1s. Well, we see there is one 10 frame that is full. And when a 10 frame eight is full, it becomes 110. So that's 110. The dots in the other 10 frame now becomes the 1 because this 10 frame is not full. So let's count how many 1s. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. So we know there are six ones. So this is 16. And within the number 16, there's one 10, because there's a 10 frame full, and six ones, because there are six dots in the next 10 frame.